I'm a total wildlife nerd, but I'm also a career technologist. And it took me 20 years to figure out how to combine the two towards wildlife conservation. But I think I finally got it. Technology has come so far in that time in generating data about our planet and its other non-human inhabitants. For example, there's a satellite in space that's dedicated to tracking the movements of hundreds of species. We can pluck DNA samples from rivers, soil and dung to identify individual animals. And whales and seals are swimming around right now with sensors on, collecting ocean data for us. Now, this data is incredibly valuable to the science of protecting the planet. But I think it could be even more valuable. What if we use that data to give wild animals a unique digital identity that's recognizable by humans? Now, why would we do this? Well, most of us have a digital identity that we use to communicate and socialize with each other. But Albert in St. Louis, for example, has no way to create a connection with an orangutan in Borneo. How can we expect him to empathize with its protection? If we want to preserve all life on Earth, we need to create relationships with all life on Earth. And relationships are built upon recognizing someone's unique identity. So maybe giving one to that orangutan could create a bond with Albert that helps them both in the real world. Now, this is not as far-fetched as it seems. The technology and the data exist to do it. But it's not enough to just create the identities. They need a place to come alive and be found by humans, somewhere that creates an immersive and active way to stay engaged. Well, if current predictions come true, most of our socializing, work and play will shift to games, virtual spaces, and yes, the metaverse. And that's where stories will be told and relationships built. So for every human avatar that is interacting or consuming in these spaces, let's have the same for Moituria the elephant, Ashaya the jaguar, Fio the orangutan, and hundreds of thousands more. And the events of their lives, as supported by the data, can be recreated digitally. That might be the health of Fio, uh, the migration of Moituria, a newborn cub to Ashaya. And these events and others create the moments for people to feel the space to feel emotionally bonded. Not because they all of a sudden want to, but because they now have access that they never did before. Some will use that space to connect directly with orangutan researchers in Borneo. Others will identify new patterns in elephant movements. Some will learn about deforestation by actually witnessing it. And we'll monetize this soon-to-be trillion-dollar sector to help finance further science and habitat protection. Which means that virtual worlds can directly benefit the real world, as opposed to being detached from it. And we've been experimenting with this using the real data of animals like Fio and, and others. And we found that while our vision is still many years away from being realized, the platforms to make it happen already exist. Microsoft's flight simulator, it includes two trillion of the world's trees. It could include all the world's wildlife. Adidas recently included five GPS-tracked animals as athletes in its fitness app for its users to compete against. It could include thousands more. And Fortnite recently held a virtual concert they, with Travis Scott. They transported over 27 million of their users to a fictional world to witness that concert. Let's hold the next one in the Amazon rainforest. Imagine if Ashaya the Jaguar walks by during the show. Now, I'll admit, I have fears that some of what I'm advocating could create a greater divide between people and the natural world. If I could, I'd just pick everybody up, I'd plop them in Borneo, and I'd have them spend an hour with Fio instead. But Fio's natural world is literally dying in front of our eyes. We need a seismic shift 
in how we create relationships with other species. Otherwise, yeah, the next hundred years of wildlife conservation will continue to be an uphill, losing battle. It's only a matter of time before some version of the metaverse changes the way we spend our time and engage with each other. And however you may feel about that, we have to make sure that Moituria, Ashaya, Fio, and millions more animals are included, play a role, and benefit, and not get left behind. Thank you.